Multibus is a computer bus standard used in industrial systems. It was developed by Intel Corporation and was adopted as the IEEE 796 bus. The Multibus specification was important because it was a robust, well thought out industry standard with a relatively large form factor, so complex devices could be designed on it. Because it was a well defined and well documented industry standard, it allowed a multibus compatible industry to grow around it, with many companies making card cages and enclosures for it. Many others made CPU, memory, and other peripheral boards. In 1982, there were over 100 multibus board and systems manufacturers. This allowed complex systems to be built from commercial off the shelf hardware, and also allowed companies to innovate by designing a proprietary multibus board and then integrating it with other vendors' hardware to create a system. A good example of this was Sun Microsystems with their Sun 1 and Sun 2 workstations. Sun built custom-designed CPU, memory, SCSI, and video display boards, and then added three COM Ethernet networking boards, Zilogix SMD disk controllers, Ciprico Tapemaster 1/2-inch tape controllers, Sky Floating Point Processor, and Systec 16 port terminal interfaces in order to configure the system as a workstation or a file server. Other workstation vendors who used multibus based designs included HP, Apollo, and Silicon Graphics Iris. The Intel Multibus I and II product line was purchased from Intel by Radisys Corporation, which in 2002 was then purchased by U.S. Technologies, Inc. Topic multibus architecture Multibus is an asynchronous bus that accommodates devices with various transfer rates while maintaining maximum throughput. It had 20 address lines so it could address up to 1 megabit of multibus memory and 1 megabit of I.O. locations. Most multibus I.O. devices only decoded the first 64 kilobits of address space. Multibus supported multi-master functionality that allowed it to share the multibus with multiple processors and other DMA devices. The standard multibus form factor was a 12-inch wide 300 mm, 6.75-inch deep 171 mm circuit board with two ejection levers on the front edge. The board had two buses. The wider P1 bus which pin assignment was defined by the multibus specification. A second smaller P2 bus was also defined as a private bus. Topic multibus standards Multibus includes the following buses. Multibus system bus, adopted as IEEE 796 ISBX IO expansion bus, adopted as IEEE P 959 ILBX local bus extension execution bus, multi-channel IO bus topic versions topic Multibus I IEEE 796, microcomputer system bus, first released by Intel in 1974. The cards did not use front panels, and they used card edge fingers as the connectors similar to ESA, PC at cards. Companies like Northwest Technical still provide end of life products for Multibus I. This bus is obsolete. IEC 796-1-1990 Microprocessor System Bus, 8-bit and 16-bit data Multibus I, Part 1, Functional Description with Electrical and Timing Specifications IEC 796-2-1990 Microprocessor System Bus, 8-bit and 16-bit data Multibus I, Part 2, Mechanical and Pin Descriptions for the System Bus Configuration, with Edge Connectors Direct IEC 796 96-3-1990 Microprocessor System Bus I, 8-bit and 16-bit data Multibus I, Part 3, Mechanical and Pin Descriptions for the Eurocard Configuration with Pin and Socket indirect Connectors Topic Multibus II IEEE 1296-32-bit, 10 MHz bus, at 40 M byte, S. Card sizes are 3 U by 220 mm, and 6 U by 220 mm. These cards are larger than the VME Eurocard sizes, which are 3U, 6U by 160 mm. It uses TTL fast series gates for drivers and the backplane connectors are DIN 41612 Type C. Multibus 2 is not yet considered obsolete, but considered mature, however it is not recommended for new designs. IEEE STD-1296, High Performance Synchronous 32-Bit Bus, Multibus 2, released in 1987, and 1994. Also as ISO, IEC 10861. ISO, IEC 10861-1994 Information Technology. Microprocessor Systems. High Performance Synchronous 32-Bit Bus, Multibus 2. 
Topic: Historical uses. Multibus 2 hardware running the IRMX operating system is used in the majority of the core automatic train supervision subsystems on CLSCS, the London Underground Central Line Signals Control System. This was supplied by Westinghouse Rail Systems and commissioned from the mid-1990s. The Central Line is an automatic train operation line. The automatic train supervision elements use a mixture of IRMX on Multibus, and Solaris on Spark computers. 16 multibus-based local site computers are distributed along the line together with six central multibus-based subsystems in the control center. Real-time control and communications functions are provided by the multibus-based processors and Sun workstations provide database functions and the operator consoles in the control room. All subsystem computers are dual redundant. The safety critical automatic train protection component is provided by trackside and train borne equipment that does not use multibus. The system was still in full operation as of 2011. In the control center, Westinghouse also provided a cut down mimic of the system for staff training and software test purposes using much of the same hardware and software as the full ATS system, but connected to a computer also multibus 2 and sun based to simulate train movements and signaling behavior. Oslo Metro or Oslo Tunnelbane uses a similar, although less complex Westinghouse supplied multibus hardware control system through the Central Common Tunnel or Fellastunnelen tracks, but was expected to be decommissioned in 2011. Topic. See also S100 bus Vimebus Topic. References Topic. External links Mark Soko's Multibus I Description Introduction to the System 310 Microcomputer, Intel Corporation 1983. Multibus-based system. Intel Multibus Specification, Intel Corporation 1982. Intel ILBX Bus Specification, Intel Corporation 1983. U.S. Technologies Official Multibus Site